Welcome back to Harbour Unboxed. Today I decided to put together a quick video for you guys checking out the latest installment in the F1 Racing Series by Codemasters. It was released just a few days ago now and it gives F1 fans a chance to try out the new cars and of course circuits. Like previous versions, F1 2017 has been built upon the same Ego 4.0 game engine but the graphics have been improved. AMD and Nvidia have both recently released updated display drivers to better support F1 2017 and with the arrival of the Radeon RX Vega 56 I thought why not give a quick comparison between it and the GTX 1070. This then will be a similar format to our What Does It Take to Play series but of course with a different objective. For testing we'll be looking at the 1080p, 1440p and 4K resolutions and we'll also be taking a quick look at how the performance between F1 2016 and F1 2017 compares. AMD enjoyed a slight performance edge in the 2016 version and while it is only early days I'm keen to see how they stack up in this latest 2017 version. Just finally, please note that all the testing was conducted using the ultra quality preset on our Core i7 7700K test system. Before we take a look at a few graphs, here is how the GTX 1070 and RX Vega 56 GPUs compare side by side. Please note that these runs are not identical, but they're certainly very close, and I'll be showing you a minute's worth of gameplay footage. Okay, so things look pretty even at 1440p based on what we just saw there. And as you can see here, based on an average of three runs, the GTX 1070, the MSI Gaming X version, mind you, came out just a single frame faster on average. That said, the GTX 1070 was a good bit faster at 1080p, and it did maintain a much better 1% low result for the 4K testing. So 1440p is certainly a best case scenario for AMD right now. What's interesting though is if we look back to F1 2016, which is built upon the same game engine, Vega 56 is noticeably faster at both 1080p and 1440p, though it does again choke at 4K when it comes to those 1% lows. What's also interesting to note is that the GTX 1070 is faster in F1 2017 when compared to F1 2016, so that is certainly very interesting, while the opposite is true for Vega 56. So I do wonder if this is yet another title where AMD have some driver work to do before we can see the most from Vega. Overall F1 2017 looks really good. I just wish I had a bit more time to invest in the career mode, but that was pretty much the case with F1 2016. I ended up spending significantly more time benchmarking that game than actually playing, but thankfully I do enjoy that also. Uh, on that note, you can expect plenty of F1 2017 benchmark action in my upcoming videos. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick comparison. I'm your host, Steve. I'll catch you again soon.